one of the whole reasons for Binet exists is because of pathfinding. Why? Because yes, you can learn pathfinding, but why would you learn it whenever it takes four weeks for it to even work like how you want it to do and it still looks laggy? Well, that's why Forbidden exists. It has it coded for you, so you don't need to spend four weeks suffering. You can just insert it, have it be one day long, and those four weeks that you would have spent on pathfinding will now be spent on your game. So that's just my warning. If you're trying to learn how to use pathfinding, I'd encourage you not to learn it and just use Forbidden, but I'd go ahead, watch a different video if you're really insistent on it. But yeah, so what do we want to do? Well, we have a couple goals. We want the track players. We want it to... Uh, be able to just track to an object and we want it to be able to stop on command so I'm going to go ahead and copy this code right here just because I want to save it for when I show you how to make it stop but also that we're going to go ahead and show you how to insert forbidden into your game so the first thing we're going to do we are going to go to our toolbox and look up forbidden API so when you do this you're going to go ahead you're gonna see this in your game, lovely. And you're gonna get this ungroup and replicate storage folder. Go to your replicated storage and ungroup it. So now you'll have forbidden. And inside of forbidden, you'll have your AI module and your info. So if you go here, it will tell you troubleshooting steps. So we're gonna actually go over one. You're gonna notice it just always happens. So please, if you have any issues, don't go into the comment section saying, hey, your module doesn't work, it doesn't move. Chances are, the NPC is anchored. Just go ahead and anchor and unanchor it with the button at the top. So, in here, we have the API.smartPathFind. This is the function we'll be using. And we have API.stop, which we'll be using to stop it. So, it will stop once it reaches its destination if you don't have it set to tracking. If you have it to set the tracking, no matter what, it will not stop. It does not auto detect if its target died, if that's what its use case is. So, keep that in mind. But we're passing in the NPC, which is going to be our model. So we're going to have a script inside this dummy. It's going to reference the NPC, which is dummy itself. And then we're going to have a target. I'm going to make a player for the track. And I'm also going to do a destination demonstration. Whether it yields. So if there's code under it and yielding is set to true, then the code under it will not e execute until the path find is done. So keep that in mind if you are using tracking. That if you want to execute code under it while the path finds running, you need to set yielding the false and then our settings table which you can see everything here so tracking is in there and we have visualize too and then along with our normal pathfinding settings which you can go check out how to use at this link so now that we've gone over that and that api.stop is just passing in the model so you can pass it in for any script as long as it references forbidden so yeah pretty cool but now that we've done that we're going to go ahead and, and get a dominator again if you don't know how to you go to avatar rig builder and insert it whenever you do that go over to your home anchor and on anchor it otherwise it will just be anchored and inside of that insert a script so once you get in insert something like this so you have your replicated storage get forbidden get the ai and get your npc which is this script.parent and then get your target so this is if you want to make it so that it just goes to a destination then go ahead and insert that so in here, we're going to go ai.smartpathfind and get the NPC. We're going to get our target. We're going to make it yield. And we're going to do visualize equals true tracking equals false. So when we do that and we hit run, we're going to go ahead and see that it is just pathfinding to the destination. And now. We're just going to go ahead because this will also be useful to show before I show you the tracking things. Oh, I guess it doesn't do it. Nice. Well, okay, with the tracking. So if I go to true and then I, now I want to do game not players equals get children one. I also wanted to wait two seconds for it to load in. Now, well, now it's not going to do that because I have to play. So now if I go into the game, I'm making it get the only player in the game, which is me and you're gonna see that it tracks. So also, Forbidden doesn't uh, waste system resources by just running Pathfind. If it detects you move, then yes, it will run it, but there you go. And you might notice be like, well, it looked laggy, but now it's switched to a line of sight mode, as I said that. So now it'll be really honest game. So you might be like, well, it still looks laggy. Like, look at that. Uh, yeah, 
it's you that is lagging. So the AI is actually killing you right now if you had to be a zombie or something. So yeah. But now what if you want to make it stop in the same script or in any script really? So you call api.stop. So I'm going to make it wait 10 seconds and I've set yielding to false. So that means that this code will run after I set this to true. It wouldn't. And I've set tracking to true here. Or actually let's make tracking false because I just wanted to go to the target. Yeah. Okay. So for some reason, by the way, trying to make it tra uh, stop with tracking enabled actually doesn't work. So keep that in mind. I will fix that, like hopefully by tonight. But yeah. So here comes the dummy. We just go into his thing, and after 10 seconds, it stopped. So you can see that. Now it's just completely stopped. And then if we wanted to, we can make it wait another two seconds and then start tracking me because it's mad at me or something. I don't know. So we're coming here, tracking true game uh, players get children one. Yeah, there will be a more advanced tutorial tonight if you want to make it track the nearest player. But also, if you're just interested in using this code, I encourage you to leave your game in the comment section. I want to go check it out. And also that, hey, this is forbidden. Look at him, he's pissed at me. Nice. Alright, good luck.